Tonight's episode is all about Halloween and tasting some Halloween beer. Salud, guys! Hi, guys! Welcome back and happy Halloween! You can see in my costume, I'm a French maid. Made for you guys! All for you, because I'm here for you. Thank you so much for coming back. And tonight's episode is all about Halloween beer. So these four particular beers that we are going to be tasting are from four different breweries. They all have their own styles, their own backgrounds, their own interesting facts that I'm going to bring up, of course. And four out of these, three out of these four beers are actually seasonal only. You can only find this seasonal. I will tell you which one that is. So just stay with me until the end. Don't forget. And one of them is actually year round. So that's kind of nice to know that even though we are not in Halloween, you still can have that beer. So stay until the end, guys. Thank you so much for coming back. Don't forget to leave me some comments, subscribe to my channel, and do not miss. Do not miss the Let's Break It. Okay, so let's go to the tasting, guys. We're gonna start with our first beer. It is a Reven, Re, Revenant IPA. There you go. Look at look how nice. Look at how nice, guys. These um, graphics are, are. They are so Halloween. They're perfect. There is like a little ghost, a little bit scary. This particular beer is an IPA, and it is a seven percent ABV. Um, one very, very, very interesting fact about this IPA is that the actual founders are two females and it's one of the two um own two female own uh, breweries up in humboldt county so ooh, i already love it that color guys look at that color look at how beautiful very very beautiful color i'm already in love amber color nice amount of carbonation little little head right there i love that i love that nothing too little nothing way too overwhelming right it is perfect mm. this particular ipa guys it smells so good i can already sense all of those aromas the citrus it is made with two different type of hops and let's see guys let's see what it is uh IPA has to offer for Halloween. Let's see if it's scary or if it's not scary. Salud, guys! Mmm, guys, this is a really nice IPA. So refreshing. You can definitely um, sense the citrus in there. Um, the it, it just has a very very pleasant very pleasant taste there is no bitterness you don't have to worry about you know the typical IPA bitterness this is perfect for beginners and for us IPA lovers guys so very 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 nice job you guys I love it salute Hi guys, let's continue with a haunted, haunted Halloween edition of beer tasting. It's all about Diva and it's all about drinking beer, guys. So excited. Okay, let's move on. So our second beer, our second beer, it's from Buffalo Bills Brewery. Look at guys, check it out. Check the little um, graphics on the bottle. This is actually a pumpkin ale. And remember how I was telling you guys earlier about one of the beers that goes all year round? Well, this is it. This beer is also from Northern California. And guess what, guys? A very interesting fact about this beer is that this particular brewing company were the very first brewery in whole America, in the whole America, that had a brew pub, which means that people were able to eat and drink right there. You know how now it's like all of these brewers that we have and it's so normal, you bring your food, you eat, or they can have, you can buy food in there and just do all the tasting well before, um 
before 1983, you couldn't do that. You couldn't do that here in America. It was just not legal. So it became legal after 1983. And guess what? Our friends from Buffalo Bills Brewery, they were the ones who initiated it all. So thank you guys for doing that. We love that because of you guys were able to enjoy our food and enjoy our beer right from the brewers, right? Thank you. So let's go ahead and continue with the drinking and the tasting. This is like I mentioned earlier, it is a pumpkin ale and it is a six, it has a 6% ABV. It is amber in color, look at that. Oh, let me just put some more because I love amber color. I love that brown color, it just, give, it just gives me that sense that it's going to be rich and I love rich, I love, I love it. I love flavor, I love tropical and all of those nice exotic flavor so it's already giving me a good vibe so let's see it has a little bit of carbonation which i don't mind right i love the color so i'm already in love mm. it has a little bit of the sense of a uh, pumpkin all the way towards the end nothing too crazy nothing that is going to take over and overwhelm the whole beer okay so don't worry about that you guys so let's see what is this pumpkin ale all about salute Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so nice. I almost feel like I'm, I'm in uh, Thanksgiving because I can feel all the pumpkin taste. It just has all of those rich flavors like the cinnamon, the cloves, you know? Almost like it's, it's, it's perfect for take it to take for you guys to take to any of your family gatherings for thanksgiving in the afternoon so nice so refreshing so so home it just it just brings you that that home feeling you know that you're with the family so this is a really 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 nice um uh ale you guys you guys enjoy so totally recommend salute boom let's continue on halloween edition okay so now guys we're going on we're going to go on to our third beer and guess what we're about to travel all the way to the east coast because it is time for punk and l this particular l it is from Delaware. look at you guys look at how nice that is it has a little pumpkin and it's so appropriate for Halloween. And guess what? It is also seasonal. It is from Dog Fish Head, okay? Dog Fish Head Brewery. It took me a little bit, kind of like a time to learn the name. It just did it, it wouldn't roll like that easily. So that's why I'm telling you guys is Dog Fish Head brewery and it is an L it's actually a um a seven a seven percent it has a seven percent um ABV so let's see you guys let's see once again it is seasonal so I'm very excited because um well, you know when things are seasonal especially beers um breweries put a lot of work in their product and I feel like they just give us so much work and so much energy into those beers that you can feel it every time you taste it. So I'm very excited. And you guys might ask yourself, how come it's called pumpkin, right? Like a, you know, like a pumpkin in. Well, this beer was actually named after a festival that they have in Delaware. They have a festival where they, um, and it's right after Halloween, what they do is that they put all of these pumpkins and they just throw them, they, bit, they build these like machines and whatever they do over there and just throw them to see who can get the farthest. So it's kind of interesting, I love it. I love when there's a little background to a beer because it just gives personality to the actual beer, right guys? So let's see, let's see, let's talk less. My gosh, I've been talking so much, guys. Um, Halloween gets me very excited, guys, because I love Halloween. It's one of my favorites, or my, I should say, well, like, like my first favorite uh, holiday, so I get very excited. As you guys can see, we are all about Halloween. So, 
already loving the color it's an amber l again once again look at that head perfect amount of carbonation the head is a little bit higher like i love it just has all the components that i really 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 enjoy so once again this is a l and and it's a seven percent abv so it's promising salud Oh wow, so this one guys, it's actually like a spiced brown ale, amber, brown, spiced, you can feel a little bit spiciness, right? And I love it, it is so good, you can, you can taste the pumpkin, um, you, you can, it's just, it just gives me so much uh, flavor and um, from you know from like thanksgiving all of the pumpkin pies and all of the baking and cooking at home this is just it it has the cinnamon it has like the nutmeg you know it's just it's just it's just wonderful definitely a good choice it is refreshing still it is not heavy it is nice a lot of flavors very nice to the palate nothing overwhelming nothing takes over the brown sugar does not takes over the brown the cinnamon everything is in a perfect balance so you dogfish head brewery did a great job cheers and salud hi guys we continue with our spooky halloween tasting yeah yeah the last one don't forget you guys don't forget to stay until the end please keep on giving me a thumbs up don't forget to leave me some comments in the bottom please down below really easy something really quick i really appreciate you guys love you guys um support it is so amazing to see that you guys really really enjoy the channel so we're going to move on to this big beer guys it's imperial pumpkin it's a porter yay look at look at look at look at how big it is and look at how nice the actual graphics are very subtle you know nothing too crazy this particular beer it is from epic epic brewing company and this company you guys like really made a difference so there are very lots of very interesting facts about this particular brewery guys i'm going to touch into some of them because i think that you guys need to know and why that name that epic name was so for you guys it was made for you guys so let's go ahead and start opening the beer we'll do some of the talking and some of the drinking okay so uh this particular brewing company it's from utah and as you guys know utah has um a very um um the law in utah as far as beer is that check that out guys look at that it's a dark beer porter it's a dark beer right there small um small head perfect nice amount of carbonation um like i was saying um in utah they have a law that you can only brew beers with a five percent abv that's all you guys do that's all they do over there you guys can go ahead and kind of like look at my other video that i talked a little bit about it um and epic brewing company after the prohibition this is the first brewing company in utah they were able and are the ones brewing beer with seven above the five percent abv so that is very amazing however they can brew it but they cannot sell it like the liquor stores and like you know like the store the markets or any of that stuff they cannot do that they can sell it to the customers when they come and actually enjoy it from there but they are not allowed the law the law does not allow for them because of the content the high abv so but i'm glad that you got that they are able to do that you guys are epic you guys put you you foot down and you are making business and you guys not only that but they have opened up you know they have expanded expanded the horizons and now they're operating they have businesses 
in Colorado and in California. And you guys have all of our support because you guys are just epic. So let's see this Porter beer, what it's all about, guys. Mm, it's a very nice Porter. Okay, so for my people that don't really know what a Porter is, Porter beer is actually an English uh, style type of beer. It is a dark beer and it is made with uh, malt right malted beer english style that it has uh some hops too um the um abv like i said earlier on this particular one is seven i don't know if i said it but i'm gonna tell you guys it's a 7.8 okay it's a porter beer and it is so smooth guys for the porter all the porters that i have tasted in the past have been very strong and it's just way too much for me because like I had, as you guys might know, I like flavor. This is perfect. You guys from Epic Brewery did an amazing job. It's not overwhelming. It is not so strong that all you can do is just feel the dark, you know, the malt in all of those very strong flavors. It is not like that. It is so smooth. You can have a little bit of, you know, like almost, you know, like porters have like a little coffee flavor. It has it, but so subtle, so smooth. It goes down on your throat very smooth. The aroma is very nice. And the aftertaste is delicious. You will love it. Salute, guys. Hey guys, it is time for Divas Ranking. Halloween edition, boo. Don't get scared. Okay guys, so, um, thank you so much guys for being with me. Thank you. Please, please, please share the video. Please let everyone know that we're here to taste some beer, to have some fun, to learn interesting facts about different breweries, please, please let your friends know so they can subscribe we need to keep on moving we need to keep on promoting these guys but i cannot do it without your help please i'm asking you to please help us out so let's get to the ranking and because it is halloween style and halloween edition guess what my halloween <laughs> pumpkin okay the pumpkins, where are my pumpkins? My pumpkins are going to be number one. I know, I know you guys are surprised because I love IPAs, right? But because it's Halloween, these three beers, guys, just give me, gave me all of that, that fall feeling right it was all about fall it was all about halloween and running right into thanksgiving it was just the perfect combination i am not gonna leave my ipa for the last one all i gotta say is that this particular ipa it is amazing it has the perfect the perfect amount of hops the perfect amount of pumpkin and spices and nutmeg and all of that nice flavor so smooth that you can share and get all of your friends who are kind of like iffy about IPAs you give them some of this and you have them on your side they will be your best but now your best IPA not but now okay guys so thank you so much for joining us in this Halloween edition tasting I hope to see you guys all back soon. Bye.